Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to welcome you to episode 243 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Hopefully everyone's moving and grooving in November. Fall is finally upon us. I hope that you guys had an amazing time trick treating. I know that we did. We dressed up as peanut butter and jelly. It was so exciting. Like that peanut butter and jelly costume was such a hit amongst the kids at our daughter's school. They saw us and they were like, it's peanut butter jelly time. Janet Town. I mean, it was like really exciting to see how thrilled kids were about peanut butter and jelly. And here I thought that PB and J was old school. I guess they taught me. Anyway, so much has been going on. I literally today spent like three hours in the dealership for an oil change and a computer update on my car. It was so painful waiting that long. The oil change should have taken like an hour, which it did, which it did. But the computer update, it was like installing updates on your computer. You know, it takes forever. So today's question comes from one of the many media outlets that reach out to me on a pretty consistent basis. And their question to me was, Dr. Angela, can you get pregnant from pre-cum? Really, really, really interesting question. It made me laugh out loud because I'm like, oh my gosh, pre-cum. What's pre-cum? You guys know what pre-cum is. It's that clear fluid or liquid, um, more commonly known as pre-ejaculate, that comes out of the tip of the penis, more specifically the urethra, uh, when men start getting aroused. So... What is pre-ejaculate? What's the role of pre-ejaculate? Its main function is to protect sperm because what you need to know about sperm is that it prefers an alkaline environment. So as sperm is transferred through the urethra and outside the penis, uh, this pre-ejaculate helps to protect it so that it can make the journey to wherever it is that it's going. Uh, Most of the time, that's into your vagina, up your cervix, and into your uterus, you know, to meet an egg, to fertilize. Otherwise, you know, it goes other places. You know, folks are putting penises in many different orifices, but that's an entirely different podcast. So, as previously stated, pre-cum or pre-ejaculate is uh, released by the urethra. The urethra is the same organ that also releases urine. That's a complete aside. So to answer the question, technically, yes, you can get pregnant from pre-cum. Pre-cum is supposed to be sperm-free, but there have been a lot of studies that have found pre-cum to be riddled with viable sperm in varying amounts. How does that happen? What can happen is sperm that is remaining in the urethra from previous ejaculations can subsequently become mixed with uh, pre-cum solutions from the next go around, so to speak. So, you know, if your man is excited again and comes again, then if there was any remaining sperm in the urethra, that sperm can get pushed out. I hope I didn't lose you with that one. Anyway, irregardless of the pregnancy implications, remember, yes, it is possible to become pregnant with pre-cum. And also note that pre-cum is a bodily fluid which can transfer STI, sexually transmitted infection. So no matter how unlikely you think the risk of pregnancy may or may not be, uh, the risk of STIs is very real. So I would strongly recommend using a condom. Just saying. And there you have it, folks. Thank you so much, as always, to the numerous media outlets that are constantly reaching out and giving me 
just tons and tons and tons of exposure. I really appreciate it. If you guys happen to have questions that you want featured in the podcast, you know how to reach me. Go to www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. You can click on the question mark and pose your question via email, or you can click on any of my social media venues, that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and direct message me, and I'm happy to address whatever question you have. In closing, I'm gonna leave you with this. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. That quotation comes to us from Dr. Seuss. Who couldn't figure that one out? Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Cannot wait to reconnect on episode 244. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.